Merit Beauty is having a sale and it ends tomorrow. And if you do want a code, you can look down in my description box. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss King's World and today I'm going to be filming a video for you, which I know is rare. I have been so slack on YouTube lately, but hopefully in the next few months slash the new year, I will get back into the swing of things. It has been crazy busy. So today I'm going to be showing you a get ready with me, kind of how I've been doing my makeup lately, as well as trying some new products, which I haven't done in ages and just talking through where I am in life and maybe this is something that will resonate with you. Without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. First, I'm going to be starting with Merit. Um, they actually gifted me these products. They sent me a Great Skin Instant Glow Serum as well as a blush and I haven't tried either of these products. I have used Merit before and I really did enjoy their stuff and they are clean beauty. I'm super excited. It's actually a serum. Um, and it says essentially that you need to use it before or after moisturizer in the morning or twice a day. And there's quite a bit of good ingredients as well. There's niacinamide, um, four types of hyaluronic acid, caffeine rich cocoa seed extract for plumping, Japanese gold thread root for soothing and antioxidant protection, and pH balance, which is super important as well. I actually haven't used this before, so you're gonna see my first reaction on camera. I'm just gonna give it a good shake, of course. Let me pump it into my hand. I did my eyebrows off camera just because I can't be bothered to attempt to do my eyebrows on camera. I barely have even recorded, much less doing my eyebrows on camera. So it's quite watery and it's really nice. It does feel like it has a little bit of oil, which I don't mind. I do have quite dry skin, especially in the winter. And now I feel like London weather is like quite, quite strange. It's very wet over here as opposed to Canada, which I think is just a lot more dry and cold. But, you know, I'll take the minus one over the minus 30 any day. So I'm just going to kind of pat this in a little bit. And as you can see, I haven't filmed in a while, so I'm just kind of all over the place. It's giving me very chaotic energy, but that's fine. Right. So this is nice. Like my skin looks super hydrated. I don't know if someone with oily skin would necessarily like this because it does kind of feel a little bit oily. Maybe I didn't shake it correctly, but it is quite oily, but it's nice. I don't think you need too much of this. I think it's definitely a less is more type of product, but I'm just going to let this sit for a few minutes or like a minute or two, and then I'm going to go in with my makeup but let's talk about life and what i have been up to so i feel like it has been ages since i've even said anything i've been living in london for now a year and change i moved here in august and it's now what are we in right now we're in december almost we're in november i've been here for so long and I haven't really talked about London just because I really just want to get a lay of the land, get my feet into kind of everything, just really kickstart my new self in a way. Um, if you've watched any of my other YouTube videos, especially in 2020 when I really started doing YouTube, I guess that's when I really started. I wasn't in a good place. There was a lot of changes going on. There was a lot of just... It was like an awakening for me and I kind of had to remove myself and eliminate anything that I felt like was negative or toxic or whatever. But I can also recognize now being in the place that I'm at that I was also in a negative space. So everything that I was looking at was from a negative lens and I really kind of decided to embark on like a spiritual journey. And part of that was completely removing myself um, from everything and everyone essentially and really isolating and going in and that was I think probably the best thing for me at the time could I say that I've handled everything correctly no definitely not 
I think it's one of those things where everyone has to go through their own process and whatever that may look like to you is whatever it looks like to you and you can't really it's your own journey at the end of the day and so you have to embark on it and people might not understand your family might not understand you might not understand but there's always like a greater purpose and things end up working out and I'm quite grateful that I did do that and I used that COVID period to really kind of reflect on myself and I do feel like I'm so different than I was in 2020 like thinking about it like it honestly it crosses my mind so often it's literally night and day so yeah I feel like one tip of advice that I would have for anybody is that if you're feeling some type of way or you're unhappy in your situation it's really important to go inward and really try to reflect on yourself and reflect at where you are in life and where you want to be and kind of make those changes going into the unknown is so scary but sometimes it's for the best and that's really how i had to look at things so really quickly this is kind of how i do my concealer now i usually just do a little bit on the corner and under here and down here as well on the sides i also try to get rid of any darkness um so i have a few scars and stuff right now and I tend to be a little bit more discolored or darker here, so I try to even that up. And I'm using Auntie Pat. She has not failed me, and I am just so... I'm just sticking with her because this concealer is so bomb. It is creamy. It dries down so nice. I've used this before. It's been my holy grail for the last two years, I would say. And I'm in the color MD26. So yeah, I usually put that on, let it sit for a moment, and if I want extra coverage, I'll just rub a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'll just use my Beauty Blender, which is trial and true. I will not switch up on the Beauty Blender. This one, I just washed it, so it is a little bit wet. So I feel like going straight in with the product, it kind of removes the product. You kind of want to let it sit for a little bit, let it dry down. Then go in with the product and I start with the places that can have a little bit more lighter coverage. So my chin is fine if some of the product is removed as opposed to maybe underneath my eyes where I'm going to want a little bit more coverage. So I usually start here and just kind of build that out. And I've completely given up on foundation. The only foundation that I really, really liked for the last time or I guess the last time I've used foundation was the Giorgio or Armani Luminous Silk Skin. Amazing. But lately, I just haven't really been into foundation. So yeah, it's just more of a concealer thing for me, a little spot conceal. I have a few pimples that I always get right here in the middle of my forehead. I call them my third eye. And... I'm going to let my under eyes dry a little bit more while I blend that out. But as I was saying, lots of changes. I've been living in London now for almost, I guess, almost two years. And I like London, but I don't know. I feel like it's one of those things where anytime you visit a place it always ends up being super super amazing but actually living there is a little bit different i don't know i think people aren't completely themselves here i think it's a little bit of a facade that kind of people put on and everyone drinks a lot there is a huge drinking culture here and as much as i liked that maybe in the beginning because i was like "Ooh, everyone's a little bit more chill and stuff Eventually, it gets a little tired and old. Like, I am older. I'm not, like, 22 where I'm, like, ooh, drinking all the time. It's just not really for me. So it's fun in the beginning because Canada doesn't really have that type of culture where everyone's so social and everyone's always out and about. But it also gets tiring. Like, people are always on 25-8. It is absolutely crazy to me. Uh, so I am using Rihanna's Fenty Beauty. Um, the matchstick in Espresso. I've actually had this for ages and I probably shouldn't be using it anymore. But I've been loving the way it looks. I don't do the kind of like putting stuff directly on my face. I kind of dab things in. So for bronzer or contour, I put it on a brush first 
and then I kind of dab it in so you'll just see I kind of do a little bit higher than where my cheekbones are and I kind of just dab it in and feather it up like that and I noticed that it just looks so much nicer obviously it's going to be fixed up here but it's bomb and this is really nice the merit beauty i feel like it gives my skin kind of a little bit nicer of a base where things are kind of just gliding over it which i really like yeah but london has been cool it's been a vibe but i just don't know if it's a vibe that i could stay in very long because i do feel like people are a little bit fake and i don't really like that it's not really my vibe such a social place which i like but i also don't it's so weird i think the older i get the more it's i don't want to tell you everything i don't want to talk about everything i kind of just want to like get in there get out kind of have more general conversations because i just feel like not everyone has the best intentions and i'm not trying to put all my business out there and then wondering why shit's going wrong in my life you know so now that i've let this dry down i'm gonna just dab this in and a key to really nice makeup i do have a lot of people asking me oh your makeup looks really nice and i'm always saying dab everything in cream products setting spray that's like the key so really just dabbing it in the same spot as opposed to as opposed to dragging it you've seen even with my contour bronzer i would call it more bronzer than contour i dab everything in and do very light layers at first because you don't want to go in with like really thick layers i feel like everything then looks super cakey you kind of just want to go in really light yeah i'm loving this merit skin it's bomb and then i kind of go over the harsh edges at the top a little bit that way it kind of just blends in it's super seamless and i'll just go back under here as well if i want to be extra as well too i'll also do kind of down here i usually don't but just to kind of give you that extra sharp sharp jawline that we all want and then same thing just kind of going over the edges especially your cheeks right here it ends up at least it looks very like blown out super like skin like which i really love now we're going to be using merit's cheeky this is what they also sent me and i'm super excited to use this bomb i was trying to use it the last time or order it and it just it didn't come um cheeky looks a lot more purple than i thought it was gonna be i thought it was gonna be a little bit more reddish orangey brown but i do really like a purple so i am going to do the same thing i'm gonna rub it on my hands and i'll show you how this looks up close and personal but I don't know if it picks up on that product. Ooh, it does, bomb. I'm actually using an iPhone to film this, so I just wanted to see how it would look, but I'm gonna use my fingers. Oh, this is nice. It has a little bit of sparkle, like a little natural highlight, which I don't mind. That's another thing. I've been laying off the highlighter. I still use it, but I don't use it in the same way that I used to use it, where which it was like super highlight, super highlight here. It's just too much right now. I just, I don't know. I think after COVID, people have kind of laid off of being super dolled up all the time. But this is really pretty. It's super creamy as well. And I think that's the good thing about Merit. It's very much like your skin, but better. Everything's very creamy. If you like cream products, I would definitely recommend going for something like this. But 
back to what I was saying, I think it's just one of those things where I've come to realize that as much as I love it here, I don't think this is going to be my forever place. You know, people are scared of change, especially the older you get, the more you're like, oh, I don't know if this is something I want to do. I don't know if this is the right move. And you're situated and settled. But if you don't have any kids, you don't have any mortgage, okay cool you have a relationship but at the end of the day if your partner sees that you're unhappy and stuff like you guys have to be willing to compromise and to be honest even if you do have kids and a good job and a mortgage like don't be scared of change i think that's kind of the main thing that i want to get out of this video is that I have to recognize what really works for me and what doesn't work for me and if something's not working then I'm about to change it like this is not like before where I've been scared to change I think it's just because I've already made that first move now I'm like okay cool like I made a move with no plan it ended up working out so I could do it again and it will be fine this is also merit I've had this for a while now too bomb 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 highlighter um i think this is just the way it reflects and stuff is just so beautiful like i said this is a chaotic video it's my first video i don't know why i chose to do a makeup thing but it's fine so as you can see it's kind of reflective which is nice. And then let me show you the highlighter right beside. And it's super creamy too. What did I use to put it on my cheek? And then the highlight. It's like super reflective, but if you kind of blow it out a little bit or rub it out it's still white but it's more like it almost looks like dewy skin if you could focus yeah it almost looks like more of a dewy skin look which I love so with this highlight I try to stray away from doing the most right now I really only put a little bit underneath my eyes. See if you could see, it's kinda, it's still quite reflective. My skin looks so nice. I think it looks extra glowy because of the product. So I am gonna matte it down a little bit because we don't wanna look like too oily, but I'm not gonna go OTT. I'm still gonna make sure that it still comes through. I put a little bit on my nose like this and a little bit down my nose and then I just tap it in like that. I'm also going to go back in a little bit with the bronzer and I kind of use the fat brush still because I just feel like it's still kind of gives it again more of just like a more Everything's just airbrushed and not so much harsh lines, which I try to stay away from. I'm going to tap it into my hand and then I'm really going to go down the sides of my nose, down here, up here, and then I kind of just tap it into the sides, but mostly at the top. Then I kind of put a little bit under my eyes like that. So yeah, everything looks very mixed and blended in. And that's it for highlighter. Next, I'm going to put on my setting powder. And this is the Beauty Bakery setting powder in Plantain Caramel. I've been using this again forever. I don't think I've really gone shopping a lot because of Sephora not being here. So I've kind of just stuck to what I have. Plus I also work from home, so there's no need. 
I use my Fix Plus Trial and True. I will never give up Fix Plus. I don't even care. It's just bomb. I spray my sponge. Kind of make sure it's not super wet. And I put powder into the little cap. I kind of swirl it around, get it in there, dab the extra on the back of my hand, and then go in right underneath my eyes like that. So it kind of gets rid of that shininess. And I kind of just tap over everything. Mm. I think I'm going to go with more of the purpley one and then mix it with another eyeshadow that I bought that I've had for a while. So I think I'm going to mix these two. Let me show you to kind of recreate that color. And I'm only going to put a little bit so that the merit can kind of just remain the star of the show. But just so it sets. Put a little bit over my nose. And I think that looks bomb. And to be honest, that's kind of it. Add a little bit of Fix Plus. I'm also going to be using Merit's mascara, which I really like. I love how the brush is super small. Like that. And I don't really add too much. I've really been loving um, not full eyelashes, like half lashes. I feel like it definitely gives you a more natural look. So another thing that I've been doing is instead of lining the lash, I actually line the rim of my eyelid with glue instead. I just feel like it's a little bit easier when putting on your lashes instead of putting on the lashes and trying to stick it on and then sometimes it doesn't work. I think it's way easier to just kind of put a little bit on your lid and then you just stick it on. So I've put it on already. And then by the time you take out your eyelashes, I keep mine in a jar because I hate when they get dusty. I feel like it's already sticky and ready to go and you could just stick it on. This is my completed makeup look. And I love the way this makeup turned out. I think it's absolutely bomb. I feel like my skin just looks super glowy, which I love. I love the way even like the blush has a little bit of highlight almost in it. So it doesn't look too shiny and it gives you that kind of like beautiful glass skin look. This video is gonna be chaotic and I don't even know if this really makes sense to be honest, but if you're feeling some type of way, just change it. Honestly, it sounds easier than it is. It definitely is hard, but if I could do it, you could do it too. And I feel like it doesn't matter if there's obstacles in your way. Like always should I look for resolutions and ways to solve those problems. And you can't always just pick up and move. And I definitely understand that. But just looking at your life and looking at what's around and what it's contributing to and what the, makes the most sense for you. And you just got to make those moves for yourself and be really honest with yourself because we're about to move into 2023. Like... It's about to be a new year and you don't want to wait until January to start making those moves or start reflecting. I think it's best to do it as soon as possible and kind of start making those changes as soon as possible and see how it goes. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. But at least you could say you tried, right? Yeah, let's see how this next year goes. And I'm going to come with some more videos and maybe even talk about letting a little bit more in detail instead of just glazing over it. And just some things that I did, house hunting, how to get a visa, all that jazz. So guys, stay tuned. I will be back for another video and I will see you later. I hope you are staying blessed and I hope 
you are doing amazing and that you enjoyed this video. Bye guys!